pretty much all your pressures disappear and go away. It's like all you have to do is play a show and that's either going to come out really good or not. I mean, you try really hard on making it really cool and doing as much stuff as you can to make it really good. But if you put a lot of pressure on it, that can ruin a show as well, too. You kind of have to have this sort of balance of getting really excited and doing what you want to do and kind of creating something that is unique and exciting and a little bit scary every night. I mean, that's what's kind of exciting. You're like, I hope we can make it through this or I hope we can make this happen. And you try it out and, uh, Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Playing the shows is just absolutely amazing. It's so really awesome to be able to kind of go to that kind of place with the music and the crazy lights and everything. I mean, that is just like a surreal drug all on its own. It becomes like kind of an addiction to kind of have those sort of moments in your life. I mean, I love to go see shows as much as I can and seeing crazy bands and, you know, kind of getting lost in music and sound and all of these things is such awesome and has been such an important thing in my life. To be able to be there for someone else to have that same kind of experience, I think, is really cool. And maybe we're stupid or something like that, but we'll carry more stuff than a lot of other people and try to bring as much stuff to actually bring some real event somewhere. You sort of feel good that you're kind of contributing something to the world. Every day it's constantly changing and you're kind of, you're constantly going to all these other, all these places and all these things happen. There's not that kind of like steadiness in your life, you know, you kind of can't, you know, just sort of relax when you want to. Or, you know, you kind of always have to be kind of going. It's really even like physically demanding and, um, you know, pretty much inevitably every single tour all get sick at some time. It's just from, you know, singing all the time. And, you know, we get kind of crazy on stage. Sometimes you're like, you rip off your fingernails and stuff and hurt yourself. And, you know, you kind of keep on going while you're like feeling really sick. And it just hurts to hold the guitar. And you can't barely stand because your leg hurts or whatever, you know, all sorts of things. But it's not so bad. I mean, things could be so much worse. You can't really complain about that stuff. The good stuff outweighs so much, you know, all of those things which kind of are hard. You know, I've driven from Finland to Portugal or from, you know, Greece to St. Petersburg, you know, or like flown to Australia, Taiwan and crazy places. So it's like, it, it almost doesn't seem like some of these things are so far away, but it still is absolutely crazy and surprising. So I don't know, I'm always confused about those kind of things. It's like you look up at the sky and you feel like such a little insignificant piece of nothing. And same thing with even traveling to different countries and not knowing any of these people. Even New York, it's like, you, it can seem so small at some times and yet it is also just so huge and you go around and you don't know anybody and it's kind of so diverse and all these things that you were kind of used to and accustomed to have completely changed. That. That is really awesome. And, you know, the other stuff is just all the awesome sweetness of going to all these different places and, you know, meeting all these awesome people and having fantastic food and, you know, getting to go swim in oceans and, you know, I don't know, whatever other exciting things we get to do.